during an airplane crash, your body uh, flies forward from the impact forces. Because the lap belt is holding down your lower part of your body, your upper torso and head flail forward and they generate a lot of velocity and so they can strike objects. Most of the impact injuries are head related. To reduce your injuries during an impact, you will be told to adopt a protective position. The brace position is a position that will offer you the best chance to survive in a crash. The important thing is to get your upper torso down as much as possible. It's designed to help prevent your limbs from flailing around and breaking on the seat in front of you. And most importantly, protecting your head from the extreme forces of an impact. Being conscious and able to evacuate um, is very important for your overall survivability. But according to aviation seat expert Rick DeWeese, the brace position is only half the equation. It comes in initially at the 44 feet per second, and now you can physically see the sled itself stopping, but the occupants keep going. The aft occupant's leg is struck underneath the seat in front. He's flailing over and now striking the seat back. And the front occupants keep flailing over because there's nothing for them to strike. On impact, if you have adopted the brace position against the seat in front of you, this seat should cushion the blow. Essentially what you want that front of seat to do is to uh, push away and absorb that energy that otherwise would go into your head. The industry has spent decades and millions of pounds trying to increase this effect. Today, Rick is testing a 50 cent piece of metal that he believes may make a dramatic difference to survivability. We've installed this small uh, energy absorber on this seat uh, on the side over here, basically at the uh, hinge point of the seat back. So uh, what we hope to see is that the seat back's motion forward will be controlled rather than just f being free to go forward. If it works, the dummy sitting behind the modified seat should have a softer landing. Our uh, little piece of metal we put in the hinge managed to keep the seat in a good position for the occupant to strike it earlier in the impact phase when he's traveling uh, at a slower velocity. It also allowed him to strike higher on the seat back and slide down the back. It's always good to slide instead of stop suddenly. We would expect the uh, uh, occupant on the uh, top side of the screen to be far less injured than the one on the bottom side. A device like this has already been fitted onto the very latest aircraft seats.